happy Sunday, guys. We're heading to church. Um, what do I do with Journey's clothes? Oh, I need clothes. I have no idea. What? Did he take them? I don't know. It's always a chore to get out of the house in the morning. Maybe he did take them. Anyway, we're heading um, to church and then to Grandma and Papa's house. So. Booty. So where's my papa? Where's my papa? Tell me. You don't eat this. You don't get in that chocolate cake. What's your favorite pizza? This one. What is it? Yellow. Banana peppers? Yes, banana pepper and ham. Actually, that's bacon. Bacon? I think that, is that bacon or ham? She ain't facing the nurse, she's just in there. She's good. Uh, I'm gonna run for a new tomato. You want some pizza? And some apple? Pizza? Apple. Hey guys, it is now almost six. It's 20 minutes to six. Actually, no, it's 5.32. My clock's a little fast, but I'm downstairs. I'm wandering out an Elmo right now, and I could tell you can tell on this when um, the needle gets dull and when it's like getting ready to break. Like it starts, you can start it. Start, I don't know, you get a click every now and then. So I knew it was, so I stopped it like here, and then it just went and finally broke. So I'm getting ready to change the needle, but I did want to share. Um, don't mind the mess down here. <laughs> This is where I just throw everything. But um, this is what Linda sent me. Uh, let's see if we can get it. Uh, it'll focus. It wants to focus on that. It won't focus. Here. She sent me this thing, which helps tremendously with this machine in particular in putting the needle in because I have to put them in these little holes right here. I can't do this and hold the camera at the same time, but I'll show you. Um, basically, it just helps you put the needle up. And usually I put it, like right now it ain't going to be the right spot for me because I can't do it with one hand. But basically, it helps you just hold it up into the spot. Of course, I'm not even... Okay, so... And I get it to where these needles have to be positioned at a five degree angle. And usually I kind of aim for it. And then what? Actually, I can do this one handed. We'll just leave it like that for right now. And then what I do is I will tighten it up. Once the needle's in. So I just tightened it up. Now I can take this thing off. Um, and then. Like I know right now, the needle is not there, so I'll turn it, I'll unscrew it and turn it just a little bit to where I think it is, and then I'll check it with my magnet, which I'll do really quick. Okay, so um, I went ahead and got it turned, and there, if you can see right here, this is my magnet, and it is on there, and it is just about a five degree angle. Um, that's the way, actually this needs to be on the eye of it, but you get the idea, so there it is. Um, and usually uh, this bar ain't in the way, but it's okay. <laughs> We're going with it. It's at a five degree angle. Um, and a lot of my trouble, I, I've, I've learned this machine. Like I know certain things like when the needle is starting to get uh, worn out, you can tell cause it gets that like thumping noise every once in a while. And usually shortly after I get that thumping noise is when my needle will break, um, um, also, I have to look because this, I don't know if it's the bobbins on this particular one or if something is turned off. Um, I don't get a notification when my bobbin runs out and this thing just keeps going. <laughs> and it basically, I'm trying to thread this without, there we go. And 
basically I'm just thread I'm just sewing with just you know nothing and the machine does sound differently and usually I can tell like hey I need to you know do my bobbin because my bobbin ran out but I need to look and I'm pretty sure it's probably just turned off or something about the notification. I have read though where people have said that certain bobbins, like this machine, certain bobbins, there was another needle that was unthreaded, certain bobbins um, just don't work as well and don't throw off the indicator when the um, when it runs out. And another thing, it's like, I need to blow this thing out because it gets so full of lint down in there. But yesterday, lesson learned, I put my finger in there and I went like that. And there's a little, the cutter is right there. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Um, yeah, it's right there. There's the cutter. Uh, stay away from that guy because he's really sharp and he'll, he'll cut you. He'll cut you. He cut me right underneath my fingernail. Right. Of course, this camera is not wanting to focus. It just wants to show you all my crap I got laying up here. Um, I need to clean it off. What I do is like when I get little pieces, be when I'm embroidering stuff out, um, I'll just throw my little scraps up here. That way the next time, like if I'm doing a bunch of like ones that go with that, like a certain design over and over and over, I still have like all the little scrap pieces up here and I can use them up before I start using a fresh piece of but then I just accumulate a ton of scraps up here that I need to throw away but anyway I just wanted to show um this nifty little thing that Linda had oop, sent me and I use it like every single day I kid you not when I do this because it just makes it so much easier than trying to hold and now I'm trying to do this one handed and it ain't working out for me. Um, in other news, Australia is having, let me, let me, let me, um, whoa, hello, 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 Look a little funky there. Australia's having a bad day. Um, it's not necessarily um, because her medicine is not working. It's just Boo is stressing her out today. Boo this morning decided to throw up, but she was throwing up on the carpet. And my husband's like, get her, get her, get her, get her. So Shirley grabbed her um, mid throw up, mid vomit. And um, she only threw up like part of the hairball. This is, this is my assumption. I could be way off. I hope I'm not, but it could be way off. But she only... Sterling said it was just because normally when she throws up her hairballs, they're pretty long. I know we need to get her like, um, hairball formula, like, uh, what is that, dry cat food? But they also say you can give her like, um, some olive oil to add olive oil into her, um, uh, cat food to help her digest the hairballs or lube up or something. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, um, but she has been throwing up ever since then. Like, not like a lot. She threw up once right before. So that was that time this morning. And then um, Shirley went and got her a bunch of grass. And she ate the grass. And she threw up all the grass. Um, and then she threw up in her bedroom. Like, But it's not like a lot of throw up. It's just like like she... And so that's when Shirley started freaking out. Mom, I don't want her to die. Because I don't know if y'all been watching long enough. But back in 2015 her cat ate string um and the string got hooked around her tongue and so that so it went like this around her tongue and the two ends were stuck down and so um she almost died like she kept throwing up she was so dehydrated from throwing up and we had to go and she had to have an operation and that operation ended up t costing total about fourteen hundred dollars um for the for the operation for the medicine for the treatment after it was it was a big thing um and luckily at the time we did have the money to do that but like if something was to happen now i don't think we'd be able to i mean I hate to say, you know, we wouldn't try to save her, but, you know, we don't have $1,400 to shell out on operation. <laughs> um, but, anyway. So the cat threw up 
again in her bedroom. And she's like, Mom, I'm worried. She swallowed a string. She's going to die. So Stone is like really stressed out today. So I looked down in Boo. I shined a light down and, you know, held her tongue down. I didn't see any sign of any kind of string or thread or anything. But in her little vomit, I did see a lot of like hair. Like, like she was eating like hair. Um, which she probably was trying to get the rest of that hairball because they scared her this morning and she didn't get all of her hairball coughed up. So, Strolly sent her back outside, put her on leash, took her outside. She ate a bunch of more grass. She came back in, she threw up that grass. <clears throat> and then, um, she threw up again, just like probably 10 minutes ago. And Strolly said it just had like a little bit of like spit and a, a little bit of fur. So... I don't know. I hope she's not getting sick. I hope she didn't get... I don't know what she would have... I have no idea what they're doing up there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fire this guy up. Now that I've got my needle changed. And let her go. I need to make a couple ribbon trims now.